Welcome back, everybody. This is part two of the food web videos that I'm making this morning. Hopefully, you've already watched the first one. If you've missed it, you might want to close out of this video and go watch the first one first. This is part two. Here we are in Google Classroom. I've already been in the stream and I clicked on the Food Web Project post that says weeks of May 18 and May 25's assignment. Food Web Project. You can see I've already posted part one of the Food Web Project video. What I want to what I want to focus on in this video is this document here, the Food Web Project 2020. When you open it, it will look like this. I'll let you read through the overview. I'll let you read some vocabulary that's important. And then if you don't see this on the left, there is a table of contents on the left that my screen's actually having a hard time scrolling to, but if you don't see it, there's a little icon over here that you can click on. It looks like a table of contents and it'll pop it open for you. You can easily jump between step one, there's a step two, there's a step three and a step four that way. I'll be using this video time to go through steps one through three, which is what I would like everyone to focus on accomplishing this week. And of course, you're welcome to go ahead and work on step four later on. Um, this week, if you get that far and you want to keep going. But my plan is I'll go over steps one through th three this week. Step four, I'll go over for next week. Step one, you want to explore these biomes. You can click on links to learn more. So one biome is called the tundra. Perhaps you've heard of it. If you click on the link here, it'll open up a little pop-up link right here. And if you click on that, it would take you to this website here sorry, this website here. And if you scroll down here, you'll be able to read all about that biome called the tundra. Now there's a lot of reading to do here. If you'd prefer to listen to the text be read to you, if you get a, a text to speech app or extension for Chrome, those are easy to install and you can highlight it and then listen to it. Did you know that the Arctic tundra is the world's youngest biome? Pretty cool, huh? I'm using the one that's called Natural Reader. It has this little icon right here. I just found it as a Chrome extension. Now, after you've read all about the tundra or whichever biome you're researching, you can click on links to the left here to learn about which plants live in this biome and also which animals live in this biome. And you can click on links for each of these, animals and plants. I'll click on the Arctic fox because I think they're really cool animals. Here you can see a picture of the Arctic fox and again, some text to read about the life of Arctic foxes as an example. You can also do this about any of these species that are listed here. And I encourage you to read about as many as you'd like. Remember one of the points that we're do one of the reasons that we're doing this is because in a food web you want to show the connections between different species. So as an example in this food web that my old student Devika made one of the things that a lion eats is zebras, right? And so we want to learn about in the biome that you're researching what does everything use as a source of food? What does the arctic fox eat? What eats it as a food source? You can find all of that information in this text here. Okay, back to this document. Other biomes that you should, I would encourage you to research are the taiga, the grasslands, deciduous forest, savanna, chaparral, rainforest, deserts, one of my personal favorites, and then alpine, which means up in the mountains. Marine, meaning salt water, oceans and seas. Freshwater, like lakes and streams and rivers. Or is there another one that you'd like to research that I didn't list here? Be creative. Step two and step three. I'll go over in a part three of the video because I see I'm running out of time once again. This is great, everybody. Hope you enjoyed part two. Look for part three coming soon.